خصك الرحمن بالفضل والتجان الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers and sisters Welcome to our new series titled Hivs The Greatest Journey والحمد لله by the grace and mercy of Allah سبحانه وتعالى We're here inshaAllah to help everyone بإذن الله تعالى in taking up this greatest journey of hifz by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, taking the journey of hifz is indeed the greatest because there is huge benefit for us, walhamdulillah. And for that reason, I have set certain objectives for this series which will be in five parts. Our objective is to primarily share with all of you the importance of reviving the spirit of Hivs in our lives. Number two, we want to provide you certain practical tips to become a Hafiz, inshallah. While we are talking about the tips, we will inshallah also discuss about some of the challenges that we face during the journey of Hivs. And we also want to showcase some of the phenomenal, amazing Hufaz and their stories and what we can learn from them bi ta'ala. And finally, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we would like to inspire everyone to become a Hafiz inshaAllah. And for that reason, my beloved brothers and sisters, I am joined by these two newly Hufaz, Alhamdulillah. On my right is Affan Ahmed, and on my left is Abdul Ahad. How are you guys doing? Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. So, Affan, if you can just tell us about yourself and, uh, you know, what's your name, what's your background, and uh, when have you completed your journey of inshallah and then we go to Abdul Ahad. Yes, uh, my name is Zafan Ahmed. I'm actually 12 years old, very close to getting 13, inshallah. Inshallah. And um, I finished my hifz about a month ago. Oh, that's quite fresh, mashallah. Yes, mashallah. What about you, Abdul Ahad? My name is Abdul Ahad Hamid, and I am 13 years old, and I finished my hifz this Ramadan. This Ramadan, mashallah, barakallahu feek. All right, uh, brothers and sisters, inshallah, we shall. Uh, Talk about, to begin with, in this part of the series, inshallah, about some of the root reasons and associated with these reasons, certain benefits. You know, it's quite important, uh, I'm sure you both agree with me, it's quite important to know why do we need to be a Hafiz, right? If we are clear in terms of why do I want to embark this greatest journey, Hifz, I think the proceedings and the, the, the things which we want to actually get engaged will be quite easier, inshallah. Do you agree with me? Yes. Alhamdulillah. So, so Abdul Had, you tell me, what is the primary reason why a person needs to be a hafiz, inshallah? It is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is indeed the greatest speech and that is the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as says, Ar-Rahman Al 
Allamahu al-bayan. MashaAllah, indeed, my beloved brothers and sisters. I think this is a very powerful reason uh, for us to actually embark this journey. That uh, this is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed, right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and the Prophet said, فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ That means the best of the speech is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, indeed. In fact, you know, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa also told us the superiority of the speech of Allah compared to the all other speeches is like the superiority of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the rest of the creation. So we know there is no comparison whatsoever, uh, you know, with Allah uh, when it compares to any part of the creation, subhanAllah. So uh, what else do you think, Afan, uh, is the reason why a person needs to be a Hafiz, inshallah? I think one of the other reasons is because uh, the book of Allah is the, gui- is the true guidance. So if we want to be guided and if we want to be on the guided path, we need to be with the guidance, which is the Quran. And um, that is one of the primary reasons we need to be the uh, we need to memorize the Quran. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in Surah Al Baqarah, Alif Lam Mim. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. This Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says this is the book. There is no doubt about it, and it is true guidance for humanity. Subhanallah, so true. I mean, if we want to be you know, on guidance, it is just not possible without the Quran. And I think that's the reason Prophet said something very, very important. He said, I'm leaving behind you two things. Two things. If you stick to these two things, you will never be destroyed and misguided. The Quran and his Sunnah. So I think this is again a very powerful reason why we need to take up this journey of hifz of the Quran. What else do you think, Abdul Had? I want to recite one Quran uh, uh, from Surah Hashr uh, number 21. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها لنا Subhanallah, this is something really, really powerful, my brothers and sisters. The Quran is a very, very powerful speech, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah gives an example that if it were to reveal on the mountain, it will humble down, subhanallah. So the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is extremely Powerful uh, indeed, inshallah. This is again the reason why we need to embark the journey of Hizz, inshallah. inshallah. Yes, Afan, w- you, you would like to add something? Yes. One more thing that I'd like to say is that the Quran, the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when we read the Quran, Barakah showers upon us. So basically, when you're memorizing the Quran, you're basically grabbing Barakah. And um, of course, uh, there's so many different benefits of Barakah. And um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also, also says in the Quran, وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مُبَارَكُمْ فَاتَّبِعُوهُ وَاتَّقُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ And this is a book that we have sent down to you as a barakah. So follow it and fear Allah so that, you may have, uh, so that he may have mercy on you. Subhanallah. And who among us uh, do not want barakah in our lives? Who do not want the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our lives? And that's the reason the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa also told us that subhanallah, uh, one who is proficient with the Quran is associated with the noble ones, which means they will be associated with the angels. So that's the honor. And subhanAllah, he who falters, I'm sure the, the, when we talk about the challenges, uh, people feel it difficult sometimes to actually memorize the Quran. So uh, the Prophet gave a good news in this. He said he will have two rewards those who have difficulty they will get two rewards in memorizing the quran subhanallah true uh, subhanallah the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said to be the best of the best we have to memorize the quran we have to read the quran 
So the best of the best are those who learn the Quran and teach it to others. Subhanallah. Here goes another reason of why we need to take up the journey of Hibs. Subhanallah. If you and I want to be the best, if we all, and I'm sure, subhanallah, we all want to be the best of the best. As the Prophet ﷺ told us, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَ The best of you are those who learn the Quran and teach it to others, subhanallah. So this is again an amazing, uh, you know, reason why we need to actually embark the journey of Hivz, inshallah. Uh, all right, Afan, uh, do you think there are more reasons as well? Yes, I think one of the other reasons is that the Prophet ﷺ said that uh, the Qur'an on the Day of Judgment will intercede for its companion. And the companion of the Qur'an is the person who recites it, who memorizes it. And um, I think uh, the, what better could it be than the Qur'an coming and interceding for you on the Day of Judgment? When we need the most. Because that is the day that um, you know we, we, can, we need to take all the help that we get and the Qur'an... Um, if it comes in and intercede for us, it will... Um it, it is definitely... Uh, so my beloved brothers and sisters, remind you, remind you that this Qur'an will come to us as an intercessor on the day of judgment and that intercession will be inshallah accepted. And again, uh, I think the, the journey of the Qur'an, the Hiv's journey is highly, highly rewardable. Right? It is such a rewardable thing that subhanallah, uh, the Prophet sallallahu he told us that a person, he, he and his rank, his position in Akhirah, in Jannah, will be raised the more he memorized the Quran, subhanallah. So his status will go up and up the more he actually memorized the Quran, Quran subhanallah. And also something really comes to my mind is that subhanallah, whoever reads the Quran, as the Prophet said, whoever reads the Quran, learns the Quran, acts upon the Quran, their parents will also have an honor, subhanallah. They will be given the crown to wear and they will be given the dress subhanallah there is no similitude of that so for parents it's an honor it's a privilege to be uh, a person who, who who can see their own children subhanallah becoming a uh, hafaz becoming the memorizers of the glorious Quran subhanallah so I think the the reasons are absolutely powerful uh, do you think uh, Abdul Ahad uh, uh, when we actually memorize the Quran I think another reason could be uh, that it gives serenity to yes, our yes. soul right so does Allah mention about this in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in surah Ra'ad uh, surah number 13 and ayah number 28 the following الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبِ Subhanallah, indeed, uh, you know, those who believe and those who actually want satisfaction, subhanallah, they will basically have, you know, serenity in their, in their hearts when they actually remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I think everyone in the world wants satisfaction, pleasure, joy, happiness, serenity, satisfaction, right? And for that, Quran is the greatest source of to gain that so that's another reason of uh, why we need to actually become a hafiz al quran inshallah yes i find you would like to add anything yes. uh, one more thing is that um uh, as long as we are with the quran we are hanging on to the rope of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'a wa la tafarraqu and hold firmly to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. So it's like as long as we are with the Quran, we are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And something really, uh, you know, uh, uh, strikes me over here is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said something amazing. He said, indeed, this Quran is a rope. The Quran is a rope. One end is in the hand of 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The other end is in the, in the hands, in your hands, if you are with the Quran. So subhanallah, when you are uh, uh, holding the Quran, you are actually holding the rope with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, so hold it firmly. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, hold it firmly so that you would never ever go astray. You will never be misguided. So uh, indeed, this is again, my beloved brothers and sisters, another powerful reason why we need to embark this greatest journey of Hibs, subhanallah. And the Prophet sallallahu also said, the more you know Allah's book, the, the more you will be close to him. Absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, we, we just can't imagine, my beloved brothers and sisters, we just can't imagine that we are closer to Allah without the Quran. When Quran is the speech of Allah, when we are, if we really want to be closer to Him, we have to be with the Quran. Subhanallah. Uh, are there any more reasons, Subhanallah, uh, Abdul Ahad, to to memorize the Quran? Yes, indeed, we have to keep uh, the Quran in our favor. Allahu Akbar. Now, this is something really, really important. If we want to keep Quran in our favor, as the Prophet وسلم, he said, Al Quranu Hujjatun Lak Aw Alaik. The Quran will be either in favor of you or against you. So, obviously, the one who memorizes the Quran, what is he doing? He is making Quran in favor right and subhanallah if he if the quran is in favor it will intercede it will raise your status in jannah inshallah subhanallah so i think we, we talked about plenty of reasons are there any more reason afan to to become a hafiz al quran yes, i think one of the most important reasons actually is to avoid the depressed life allahu akbar and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Taha, Ayah number 124, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whoever lives his life without the remembrance of Allah, which is the Quran, he will live a miserable life and he will be brought to life in, on the day of judgment uh, blind. Blind, subhanallah. Now this is quite scary my beloved brothers and sisters. Remember, Allah has given us eyes to make sure that we engage ourselves with the Quran and if we don't do so, subhanallah, we will be raised among those who are blind. May Allah protect all of us in, 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 uh, to be among those people. Subhanallah, may Allah preserve all of us to be among those who are the companions of the Quran. And I think this is also quite, uh, you know, uh, common, especially in this COVID-19, uh, the way yeah. it has actually had a great hit on humanity. The lot of people who have gone into depression they have actually uh, lost hope subhanallah so quran is like a healing like a solution that comes to actually help us and to boost our energy subhanallah uh, as a medicine subhanallah uh, as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in several places in the quran right yeah, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhan nas qad ja'atkum maw'izatun min rabbikum wa shifaa'un lima fi sudur wa hudaw wa rahmatun lil mu'minin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it says, O oh people, we have sent down to you uh, a guidance to, uh, to humanity and a cure to what is in the heart. Allah. Allah. A cure to what is in the heart and a mercy for the, for the believers. Subhanallah. Again, again, who doesn't need guidance? Who among doesn't need uh, cure? Who doesn't, uh, you know, need uh, mercy? In fact, all of us require as a as a basic need the guidance the mercy the uh, you know cure subhanallah and quran is definitely the primary source for all of these i think the uh, some of the other additional reasons is subhanallah it is uh, among the method of preserving the quran i mean the Quran is, is, a, is a verbal speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So we, we know that subhanallah, 
through the memorization of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserved the Quran. So this is one of the finest methods why we need to actually memorize the Quran so that it can follow up with our future generation as well. And also Quranic memorization, you know, memorization of the Quran is an ibadah. So you will be rewarded for every letter, subhanAllah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he told us the reward... Uh, Stating that, you know, Alif, Lam, Mim is not a uh, letter. Rather, Alif is a letter, Lam is a letter, and Mim is a letter. And you will be rewarded 10 good deeds of each letter. So imagine if a person memorized the whole Quran, there will be like thousands of good deeds that we will have, inshallah. Yeah. And knowing that the Quran has three hundred, more than 300,000 letters, that is about more than 3 million uh, good deeds Allah. that you got. Allahu like Akbar. Money. Look, look, he did the calculation by the way. Yeah? Subhanallah. I, I think it also helps us uh, remembering and understanding the content of the Quran. So what does Allah talk about in the Quran? So when you memorize the Quran, the journey becomes easy to understand the content of the Quran as well. And I think this is also uh, among the powerful reasons to uh, know that memorization of the Quran is actually necessary for our prayers because the major portion in Salah is used of the Quran. So I think these are uh, some of the amazing reasons, my beloved brothers and sisters, uh, why we need to actually embark this great journey of Hivs. Uh, as I said, subhanAllah, the glorious Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The glorious Quran is the book of guidance. The glorious Quran is the book of mercy. The glorious Quran is absolutely a great cure for our body and soul, subhanAllah. So it's always important for all of us, all of us, the young and the old, the males and the females, everyone. It's an open offer from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have to grab and memorize the Quran so that we can become among the honorable ones. We can actually in this way benefit our parents as well. We can actually benefit our children as well. We can benefit the ummah and the humanity as well. So let's make this intention with sincerity and act upon this intention to become a Hafiz al-Quran and embark this greatest journey of Hivs. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help all of us to help and to facilitate in this journey. I would like to end this part of the series, inshallah. Uh, Jazakallah khair, Afan, and Jazakallah khair, Abdul Ahad, for being with me, inshallah. Uh, brothers and sisters, we shall be talking in the following episodes uh, the challenges that one will face or may face during the journey of Hivs. We will talk about in the following sessions about some of the practical tips, inshallah, that will help you uh, in great detail uh, about taking up this journey of Hivs. We will also talk about some of the amazing stories that is quite astonishing of those people who have memorized the Quran at, you know, in different ways, some are old, some are blind, some are, you know, just a kid. Subhanallah, their stories will definitely inspire us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he clearly says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِمْ مُدَّكِرِ Allah himself clearly states that indeed we have made the Quran easy to remember and understand. And Allah says, who? wants to take up this journey subhanallah i'm sure each one of you is quite uh, you know empowered uh, to take up this journey may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to be able to be among those who memorize the quran and keep this quran in our hearts in our lives until we die wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin